Well, complaining about politics here and in other countries, too, is a sport for some people. But it turns out satisfaction with Canada's democratic process is actually at an all-time low. A new survey found just 55% of us are satisfied with the way democracy works here in Canada. It is a sharp change in public opinion. And as Shirley Engel found out, one that many politicians aren't all that interested in talking about. If you can get to Ottawa, you can express your opinion within earshot of elected officials. Today, it's Tibetan Canadians concerned about the Chinese bid for Nexon. There is no debate on it, and that's not a good uh, democracy. A sentiment shared by nearly half the country, according to a survey by Samara Canada. Considered just eight years ago, 75% thought democracy was working well. This suggests that our frustration with politics might be manifesting itself into how we view democracy as well. What's more, Canadians are giving MPs failing grades for holding the government to account and representing voters' views. The highest mark, towing the party line. A barrage of Conservatives do, 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 do hold your concerns. What happens to MPs who speak their minds? After telling constituents he would vote against the omnibus budget, if Canadians convince 13 other Tories to, this Conservative quickly backtracked. Mr. Van Lone. Mr. Paradis. Mr. Paradis. Today, the opposition is once again blasting the government for limiting debate on a second budget bill. Canadians are losing faith in their parliamentary process. I think the Conservatives have to take a great deal of ownership for that. We wanted to ask the Minister for Democratic Reform what he thought about all of this, but we're told he couldn't make the time to talk to us about the state of our democracy. So we asked the finance minister what he's hearing. You're doing a pretty good job. Stay the course. We realize it's not that easy in the world today, but Canada's doing relatively well. I think most Canadians appreciate that. They also appreciate we have to be the government. This former MP and cabinet minister says there is wiggle room, just not on budget bills. I've often seen either a premier or a prime minister say to a group of MPs, MPs, all right, vote that way, vote with the constituents and let the chips fall where they may. At least one place every Canadian has a vote, the ballot box. Shirley Engel, Global News, Ottawa.